my heritage, uh, or as we say, my mob is from, from Western Australia, uh, the Noongar people, which is from Perth all the way down sort of to Albany, so it covers a sort of vast area of WA. The opportunity to design the jumper for the deadly team uh, that'll be led by Eddie Betts. Put my hand up to be a part of it and, and to do a design and it wasn't sure how well it'll come out, but I was very proud how it turned out. So the Aboriginal story behind the jumper is one that recognises the respect that we have for the fire. It can be deadly, like the name, um, it has a lot of speed, like the team, and that's also with the boomerangs as well. There's a lot of skill within the team. Aboriginal art is, is, is important. As we know, it, it continues to tell the story and it's pretty much like a library for future generations. And it has evolved from 60,000 years ago and it will evolve. And, but the main thing is the stories that, that are passed on um, that will continue uh, long after we're gone. The term deadly is something that's known nationally across Australia. When you think about Indigenous languages, there was over 750 different languages um, across Australia before white settlement. So to be able to have one word that um, all these different languages uh, across Australia knows, uh, I think it brings us together as people and the strengths that it provides. So what excites me most about the AFLX competition is the biggest names in the AFL are leading the teams. You've got Eddie Betts, Dangerfield, Fife, Brewalt, and these, uh, these players bring people through the gates week in, week out throughout the season and um, yeah, you get an opportunity to see them with some of the best players in the competition that they get to pick. So um, yeah, it's really exciting.